What if true wealth wasn't about what you own? What if it was about what you could live without? This counterintuitive idea is at the heart of Stoic philosophy, a school of thought that originated in ancient Greece and found a powerful advocate in the Roman philosopher Seneca. Seneca, despite his considerable wealth, championed a life of simplicity and virtue, demonstrating that true riches lie not in material possessions, but in inner peace and freedom from desire. Lucius Aeneas Seneca, born in 4 BC, lived a life of remarkable contrast. He was a man who navigated the complexities of Roman society with a unique blend of wisdom and practicality. He was a successful playwright whose works were celebrated for their depth and insight into human nature. His tragedies, filled with moral lessons and philosophical reflections, captivated audiences and left a lasting impact on Roman literature. Beyond the theatre, Seneca served as a trusted advisor to emperors, including the infamous Nero. His counsel was sought after in matters of state and personal conduct, reflecting his deep understanding of Stoic philosophy and its application to governance. Despite his significant wealth, which included luxurious estates and a vast collection of artefacts, Seneca remained acutely aware of the dangers of excess. He often wrote about the perils of wealth and the importance of maintaining a balanced life. Yet Seneca espoused the stoic virtues of moderation, self-control, and living in accordance with nature. He believed that true happiness and fulfillment could only be achieved by aligning one's life with the natural order and embracing simplicity. He recognized the fleeting nature of material possessions and the inherent anxieties that accompany a life consumed by the pursuit of more. Seneca often warned against the endless chase for wealth, which he saw as a source of constant worry and dissatisfaction. Seneca chose to focus on what he could control, his thoughts, his actions, and his response to the world around him. He practiced mindfulness and self-reflection, regularly journaling his thoughts and experiences to better understand himself and his place in the world. His writings, which include letters, essays, and philosophical treatises, offer profound insights into the human condition and the practice of Stoicism. Seneca's works continue to inspire readers to this day, encouraging them to seek wisdom and virtue in their own lives. As a teacher, Seneca imparted his knowledge to students, guiding them in the pursuit of a virtuous life. He emphasized the importance of inner strength and resilience, teaching that true power comes from within and is not dependent on external circumstances. In his personal life, Seneca sought tranquility and peace, often retreating to nature to meditate and reflect. He found solace in the simplicity of the natural world, which he saw as a source of inspiration and wisdom. Seneca's legacy endures through his writings and the timeless wisdom they contain. His teachings on Stoicism continue to resonate with people across the ages, offering guidance on how to live a meaningful and fulfilling life. Today, Seneca's philosophy finds relevance in the modern world where the principles of Stoicism are applied to contemporary challenges. From managing stress to finding purpose, his insights provide valuable tools for navigating the complexities of modern life. Seneca's teachings remind us of the importance of community and shared values. He believed that by supporting one another and striving for collective well-being, we can create a more harmonious and just society. The enduring influence of Seneca's work is a testament to the timeless nature of his wisdom. His thoughts on virtue, resilience, and the human spirit continue to inspire and guide individuals in their quest for a better life. Seneca's life and teachings serve as a powerful reminder that true greatness lies not in wealth or power, but in the strength of character and the pursuit of wisdom. His legacy as a paragon of Stoic simplicity endures, offering a beacon of light in a complex world. In our modern world, we are bombarded with messages that equate happiness with consumption. Advertising, social media, and even our own social circles often reinforce the idea that we need more, more clothes, more gadgets, more experiences to feel content. This relentless pursuit of material gratification can leave us feeling perpetually dissatisfied, always striving for the next purchase, the next upgrade, the next dopamine hit. Seneca's teachings offer a refreshing antidote to this consumerist mindset. Consider the story of Sarah, a young professional living in a bustling metropolis. Sarah's life was a whirlwind of activity, surrounded by the constant hum of the city. 
The streets were always alive with people, cars, and the never-ending rush of urban life. Amidst this chaos, Sarah was trying to carve out her own path. Sarah, like many of her peers, was caught in the cycle of work and spend. She spent her days in a high-powered job, working tirelessly to climb the corporate ladder. Her evenings and weekends were filled with shopping trips to high-end stores, where she indulged in the latest fashion trends and gadgets. Her life seemed perfect on the surface, a picture of modern success. She worked long hours to afford a luxurious apartment, designer clothes and frequent vacations. Her apartment was a testament to her hard work, filled with expensive furniture and the latest technology. She travelled to exotic locations, capturing picture-perfect moments to share on social media, showcasing a life many envied. Believing these outward symbols reflected her success and happiness, Sarah continued to chase after more. She attended fancy dinners with friends, dressed in the finest clothes, and always made sure to look her best. Her social media was a highlight reel of her glamorous life, filled with likes and comments from admirers. However, beneath the veneer of affluence, Sarah felt a growing sense of emptiness. Despite her outward success, she often found herself sitting alone in her luxurious apartment, feeling a void she couldn't quite understand. She would stare out of the window, lost in thought, wondering if this was all there was to life. The constant pressure to maintain her lifestyle left her feeling stressed, financially stretched and emotionally drained. The bills piled up and the long hours at work took a toll on her well-being. She found herself working late into the night, trying to keep up with the demands of her job and her lifestyle, and disconnected from what truly mattered to her. In her quest for success, Sarah had lost touch with the things that brought her genuine joy and fulfillment. She missed spending time with her family and close friends, the simple moments of connection that once made her happy. One day, she decided to make a change. She started meditating in the park, seeking peace and clarity. She began to prioritize her relationships, spending more time with loved ones and less time chasing material possessions. Sarah's journey towards minimalism was not just about decluttering her physical space, but also about finding a deeper sense of purpose and contentment in her life. Finding Seneca in the chaos, Sarah's turning point came during a particularly stressful period at work. Feeling overwhelmed and burnt out, she stumbled upon an article about Stoicism and Seneca's teachings. Intrigued, she began to delve deeper into this ancient philosophy, resonating with its emphasis on self-control, inner peace, and finding contentment in the present moment. Seneca's words became a guiding light, prompting Sarah to re-evaluate her priorities and question the true source of her happiness. The Fruits of a Simpler Life In a world that often feels overwhelmingly complex and cluttered, the idea of simplifying one's life can seem both radical and refreshing. This chapter delves into the transformative journey of Sarah, who found profound joy and fulfillment by embracing a simpler lifestyle. Inspired by Seneca's example, Sarah embarked on a journey of simplification. She was deeply moved by the ancient philosopher's teachings on the virtues of a simple life, which emphasized the importance of focusing on what truly matters and letting go of unnecessary distractions. This newfound inspiration set her on a path of intentional living. She began by decluttering her apartment, donating or selling items that no longer brought her joy or served a practical purpose. The process was both liberating and challenging as she had to confront her attachment to material possessions. Each item she let go of was a step towards a more meaningful and intentional life. She transitioned to a smaller, more affordable living space, freeing up her finances and reducing her environmental footprint. The move was not just about downsizing, it was about creating a living environment that reflected her values and priorities. Her new home, though modest, was filled with only the essentials, each item chosen with care and purpose. Sarah also made conscious changes to her consumption habits, opting for quality over quantity and investing in experiences rather than material goods. She found that by purchasing fewer but higher quality items, she could enjoy them more and they lasted longer. This shift allowed her to save money and reduce waste. Additionally, she prioritized spending time with loved ones and engaging in activities that brought her joy and fulfillment, such as hiking, reading, and volunteering. These experiences enriched her life in ways that material possessions never could. 
To further cultivate a sense of peace and clarity, Sarah incorporated mindfulness practices into her daily routine. She began meditating each morning, practicing yoga and journaling her thoughts and reflections. These practices helped her stay grounded and focused on the present moment, allowing her to appreciate the simple pleasures of life. Sarah also embraced a simpler approach to food and nutrition. She started cooking more meals at home using fresh, whole ingredients. This not only improved her health, but also brought her joy and satisfaction. Sharing these meals with friends and family became a cherished ritual, strengthening her connections with loved ones. She even took up gardening, growing her own vegetables and herbs, which deepened her appreciation for the natural world. Through her journey of simplification, Sarah discovered the profound beauty of living in harmony with nature and her own values. She found that by stripping away the excess, she could focus on what truly mattered to her. The fruits of her simpler life were not just material savings, but a deeper sense of contentment, purpose and connection. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of simplicity and the joy that can be found in living a life aligned with one's true self. Embracing the Stoic Path to Balance As Sarah embraced a more minimalist lifestyle, she experienced a profound shift in her well-being. She felt lighter, freer and more in control of her life. The financial stress she had carried for so long began to dissipate, replaced by a sense of financial security and peace of mind. Most importantly, Sarah rediscovered the things that truly brought her joy spending time in nature, pursuing creative passions and nurturing meaningful relationships. Seneca's Enduring Wisdom Seneca's teachings, though centuries old, hold remarkable relevance in our modern world. He reminds us that true wealth is not measured by the abundance of our possessions, but by the contentment of our hearts and the quality of our lives. He encourages us to cultivate inner strength, to find joy and simplicity, and to focus on what truly matters, living a life of virtue, purpose, and connection. A personal reflection on prosperity and contentment. Seneca's philosophy has had a profound impact on my own perspective on wealth and happiness. It has taught me to appreciate the abundance already present in my life and to find joy in the simple things. By detaching my sense of self-worth from material possessions, I've experienced a greater sense of freedom and contentment. a call to reflection and dialogue. In a world obsessed with acquisition, Seneca's message of simplicity and contentment offers a radical alternative. It invites us to re-evaluate our priorities, to challenge consumerist norms, and to embrace a more mindful and intentional way of living. What does true wealth mean to you? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Have you found a balance between prosperity and minimalism in your life? If you found value in this exploration of Stoic philosophy, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content on living a meaningful life. And check out my other videos on Stoic teachings. They might just change the way you see the world. Thanks for watching.